morning, YouTube. All right, so we all know it's summer, but that also means that Levi's birthday is coming up, and that means he gets to pick what he wants, and he wants chocolate ice cream. You know what? I bet you do too. <laughs> Everybody does. My way, simple, easy, delicious. All right, let's cook, y'all. All right, let me not spill everything all over my counter <laughs> like I normally do. All right, so, you know, the, kid, the rule is the kids can have whatever birthday cake they want. They get to pick. And uh, on occasion, you get one that gets a little weird, like Lamp, who wanted donuts. <laughs> okay. And now Levi wants chocolate ice cream, which actually, that's a pretty easy request. I think we're going to be able to hook him up. All right, so this is just a empty pot. I've got medium low heat. We're going to do a couple things here. First of all, we're going to put one cup of heavy cream in our saucepan. Just like this. And to this, actually, I got a spot. <laughs> Joey, you got baby? He's being extra snuggly and talky. I don't know what's going on with him. So to this, we're going to add half a cup of cocoa powder. Just plain old cocoa powder. You don't have to go with the Dutch process. I mean, you can use extra dark if you want to. I haven't ever done that, so I'm not gonna vouch for it. Hey, you know, knock yourself out, it might be fabulous. And then we have three cups of half and half. This is coming over here. And of course, cocoa powder, when you first start, when you add cocoa powder to a cold liquid, it won't blend. It's not gonna wanna come together. That's fine. Don't worry about it. As that milk and cream heat up, the cocoa powder will begin to incorporate and you can whisk it all together and it'll get gorgeous and that's fine. And I'm looking for another whisk. Here we go. All right, so over here to our, <sighs> that stuff, milk, cream, cocoa powder. To that, we are adding right at a cup and a quarter Plain white sugar. Now, if y'all have been, if you, not y'all, well, maybe y'all, huh? maybe all y'all, I don't know. Anybody that's been with me for a while, Joey, hmm. go. Nobody needs to hang out with baby at the moment. <laughs> Anybody that has been with me for a while knows I usually take or use less sugar in my desserts. However, on occasion, you get a kid like Levi who specifically requested that I up the sugar content. Okay, fine. He was laughing that my blueberry pie was not as sweet as what he's used to. Fair enough. I use far less sugar in my desserts and things than most people do. <sighs> okay, so this is all this looks like at the moment. There's not a whole lot here to see. This is going to look exactly like this for a while. So I'm going to show you the next step real quick, which is here. Okay, well, oh. Uh, there okay anyway whatever all right so all I'm doing here is I'm adding eight egg yolks why is the cat yelling because baby is chasing Casper <laughs> baby the kitty baby do you hear that and now the dog is gonna get involved <laughs> baby is like having the world's biggest pest of a little brother I mean he seriously loves to pester the other kitties and that was Casper but once he goes too far and the, and Casper starts yelling Boudin has to shut everything down so he'll go running up to him barking his head off and then he just pokes him with his nose because you know I guess that's he's just he's just like a parent all right you two that's enough so Boudin goes on kitty patrol Baby is happy because he got to pester. Casper's all offended and acts like she's got her feelings hurt. All right, so here we go. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, if you're using um, table salt, use less. And I have a full tablespoon of vanilla extract. All right, and this is all this looks like for now. We're just going to whip this up. There we go. That's kind, of, that's kind of a view. I'm looking at it upside down from the side. Okay, so all we're going to do is whisk this together while we are waiting on our cream and cocoa mixture to come together. 
and I'm going to show you this nifty little trick called tempering, which is what you use when you're making all fancy desserts like ice cream and creme anglaise and pudding and custard and, you know, whatever. Cool trick. Makes it sound like you really know what you're doing, even though it's not a whole lot of anything. But don't tell anybody, because it makes you look good. All right. So we're just waiting on this to start getting big fat bubbles all around the edge, come up in temperature, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so our, this stuff, cream and half and half and cocoa powder and uh, sugar, that's what that is. And then here are our um, eggs and vanilla and a pinch of salt, all right? It is time to bring the two together, and here is the way you do that. Um, get a ladle, handy dandy ladle, okay? And this is all the tempering is. All the tempering is is that you are adding a hot liquid, usually, um, wait, I gotta switch hands because I'm right-handed. <laughs> usually cream or milk or whatever, something, so some part of a dessert, usually, not always. You can make savory custards too. So all you're doing is taking the hot part of that custard and you are slowly adding it to the eggs as you whisk them. And you're doing it because you want to gradually increase the temperature of the eggs little by little. So you do it in small amounts. So you add a little bit, you bring the temperature up. Whisk it in. And you do this until you've probably added half of your cream and um, half and half mixture. So you have a half and half, and literally, y'all, that's all there is to it. Okay, so here's what your eggs look like now. Are we focused? Focus. There we go. There's what your eggs look like now. And so now we're going to reverse the process. So we're going to put our heat back on low. And you're simply going to slowly, while you're whisking, pour that back into your pot. Boom, done. Okay, now you have a custard base. Just means that you've got eggs in it, and now you're ready to make a custard of some kind. And you can do all kinds of stuff with these types of mixtures. You can make cream pies. So if you can make a banana cream, you can make a chocolate cream, you can make a stra ooh, I'm gonna make a strawberry cream. Mm -hmm. Or you can make um, puddings if you want to make a trifle or if you want a uh, banana pudding. Y'all, banana pudding starts just this way, I promise. Uh, or you make an ice cream base, which is what we're doing. Now to make it an ice cream base, all you do is take this and we're going to let this continue cooking until it will coat the back of a spoon. So here's a spoon. When we dip it in here, it's not ready yet, I can tell you. Well, you can't even see that, but... It's not really coating the back, it's just kind of leave, like leaving a little track in it a little bit. It's not as thick and, and cohesive as we want it to get. So we're going to let this go another few minutes and get nice and hot. It tastes good though. <laughs> so I will show you what this looks like when it has cooked sufficiently. You're not really going to bring this up to a boil. Okay, you don't want to do that. You don't want to curdle it. You don't want to like get bits of scrambled egg in it, whatever. Um, but anyway, to make an ice cream base. You cook this until it coats the back of a spoon, then you chill it, then you churn it. Boom, done, ice cream, you're a genius. It's a pretty cool trick. Alrighty. See? We're keeping it from boiling. So let's give it a test. Let's see if we pass the coated spoon test, which I bet we will. I'm <laughs> just gonna go out on a limb and give that a guess. Can I find a better spoon? Are we recording? Good. Okay, I've been on a roll lately of not actually recording when I think we're recording. All right, so no, I can't find a better spoon. We're stuck with this one. Alrighty, so here. Turn this off. All the way off. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about coating the back of a spoon. See that? Mmm. -hmm. Holy crap, y'all. It's going to be so good. Okay. So, at this point, we're taking this beautiful... Hang on. <laughs> I think my 
earbuds are haunted. They wouldn't turn off. Actually, I turned them off twice. And both times, Allie Ward from Ologies, which is the most hilarious, delightful, best girlfriend podcast you could ever find if you want to geek out and learn something. So it was like, ticks all the boxes. Anyway, she kept turning on and I was getting distracted, so I apologize. All right, so here's what we look like. See? Perfect ice cream base. Now, you could go straight to the um, ice cream churn with this if you wanted to. It'll take forever to churn. It'll be too soft. Trust me, it's better to stick this in the fridge, let it come down in temperature before you put it in the ice cream maker. The other thing that you could do if you wanted to, if you want to get a nice big bowl full of ice cubes, you can stick this pan into the ice cubes and stir the fire out of it. That'll bring it down in temperature really, really fast too. Right? I may use a combination of that just to show you the technique. <sighs> now I feel guilty for not showing you. I'll show you. Hang on. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. See, just a bowl of ice. Kelsey was laughing at me because I said I felt guilty if I don't show you stuff. <laughs> I do feel guilty if I don't show you stuff. It's like I'm keeping secrets or don't want you to know something. And that's exactly the opposite. I want you to know all the tricks without having to screw up near as much as I've had to screw up to learn them. All right, so this is what I'm talking about is a quick way to bring a custard or some sort of dish down in temperature. You set this hot dish down in the middle and just let it rest on top of those ice cubes and start stirring. The uh, heat will transfer really, really rather quickly, right? It's kind of funny. You can already see how this is going to get nice and thick. It smells amazing. The cocoa and that vanilla. Now this is chocolate, chocolate ice cream. This is some serious chocolate for people who don't want to mess around. All right, so this is it. We're going to let this sit here. Your ice, here's what you watch out for though. Watch the depth of your dishes, okay? Because if your ice here melts to the point where it's going to come over the top and get in your custard, uh-oh, there's no going back on that one. So just keep an eye on it. Keep stirring. Chill your ice cream base. Everybody's happy. All right, so we just kept whisking. Boom, boom, boom. Until pretty much all of our ice melted. Got a little bit left, but not much. It has gotten nice and cool, which I know because I've tasted quite often, frequently, to make sure it's cool. And as, you know, to help you all out, I'm doing it for you. So that we know for sure that this is good. <laughs> that is just one big justification after another for eating the ice cream. Okay, so at this point, it all goes into our ice cream maker. Quite possibly my favorite appliance. Not necessarily the one I use the most often. It's the one I like to use the most often. Matter of fact, I have two inserts. <laughs> so I can always have one in the freezer. All right, so that little bit. Mm. Like I said, this is not chocolate from Wimps. Not in the least. All right, so let's get this churning. Start some dishes. Let this go half an hour. Bada bing, bada boom. You are gonna be a rock star. I will let you have a tiny taste, but you're gonna have to let me get in here. All right, so Joey has discovered that there's ice cream. This is some serious chocolate ice cream. Come here, buddy. That's pretty good, isn't it? All right, guys, here's what this looks like at this point. Okay, so we've been going about 25 minutes or so. It's gotten nice and stiff. It starts uh, solidifying, pulling up against the beater bar. When it reaches that stage, it's probably about as far turn the camera off. That's about as far as it's going to go. That's loud, isn't it? Okay. Levi has just come in. Oh, Dad. Uh, no, 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 you're not. No, no, no. Guys, no. No, we are freezing and hardening off. So this is actually, I was telling Joey, I need him to sneak it over to the other freezer. Because <laughs> if I put it in this freezer... People are going to eat it. I don't know who's worse. I don't know if it'd be Ricky. Probably. Or Bladen. Although Lanth will be home tonight. So there's, you know, there's myriad a danger to the ice cream. 
All right. Let's see if I get all of it off of there. As much as possible. Yes, I'm going to let Joey have a little taste. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. It has frozen about as much as it's going to freeze in the ice cream maker itself. But we still want to have it harden off. Okay. So it's like soft serve at this point. So we're going to get as much of it as we can into this container. And this is going to go in the freezer to harden up. Okay. I love that. You love that? Mm -hmm. Did I do okay? No, not okay. You did great. <laughs> there you go. Kid tested. I don't know how mother approved that would be because it's ice cream, but you know. But you're going to eat ice cream. sugar than the other ice cream. I made it. Ha ha. I made it with more sugar just for Levi. Levi, I was talking about you. Needing more sugar from my desserts. All right, y'all. So this is going to go in. We're going to let it get nice and, and firm. All right, did you put in more? Did you put in extra sugar or just the right amount of sugar? I put in. For us, I put in extra sugar. For you, I hope it's the right amount. For other people, it's probably um, about average. Does that make sense? Jam the. The problem with that blueberry pie was that it was tart and that you barely used any sugar. <laughs> Would you quit fussing me over that pie? That pie is now in the past, son. <laughs> Levi was not happy with a blueberry pie I made not long ago because I think I only used a cup of sugar for the whole pie. Okay, all right, so here we go. This goes over, go in the freeze, freezer, let it get nice and stiff. Mmm, that will make it scoopable. Joey, just back off, dude. I know what you want to do, back off. Back off, son. Go, go, kid. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.